components and block diagrams we have hc05 bluetooth to transmit the signals from uh, and we have 5 volt relay that we connect our valve to it on and off this is our valve of 220 volt connected with directly 220 ac this is ultrasonic sensor scsr04 echo and ground this is tiva tm 4 c 123 gh6 pm this is uh, our uh, block diagram in this block diagram um, firstly we show the ultrasonic sensor ultrasonic sensor transmits the ultrasonic wave and uh, it received by other end and uh, we calculate the total time and multiply by the speed as ultrasonic sensor move this is our step one step two it's connected with the uh, tiva launchpad and uh, our android app hc05 is connected to tm4c123gxl tiva uh, and android app uh, we connect the bluetooth we shown in this process in working and uh, uh, android app give us the value of uh, what is the depth of the water at that time and how much tank is full and uh, control the bluetooth using uh, android app using the transmitter and receiver so if uh, command is on the electric wall flow the water and if command is off it move it and uh, also calculate the ultrasonic sensor give a distance now we start the kill firstly we initialize the header file tm4c123gh6pm then we initialize stat in touch then statlib library for the c language and stereo that will print the value then initialize the ports gpio initializations when defining the function this is for the ports initialization to initialize the ports and using pins here next is the delay function that giving the delay and uh, next is uh, uart5 we initialize here uart5 uh, in our project that connect with the bluetooth uart5 uh, main rx and tx pin of bluetooth connect with the uart5 rx tx next is uart5 here uh, in port initialization this is used to the port initialization p4 and p5 pins we use to add a uart5 so we initialize in this uh, function in the later on next is bluetooth read this is used for the read command that we given to bluetooth next is bluetooth write command that write the desired function that we required meaning we required the ultrasonic sensor record the distance so it will record bluetooth write string is used to the write the data as i said before so next is a measure distance it's measured the distance how much uh, ultrasonic sensor uh, take measure the distance from uh, uh, tr transfer transfer port and um, receiving port so it will measure the ultrasonic sensor distance next is timer zero a capture we use here to capturing the waveform that uh, extracts from the ultrasonic sensor it will capture in a specific time timer zero a next is the delay microsecond it will delay the microseconds in capturing and uh, transmit and receiving the ultrasonic wave so we use this function delay micro next is c1 as a variable character c we used u in 32 time use distance use message correct variable is used here to print the message that we want to bluetooth now defining the main function uh, we uh, should firstly explain the that if we just first initialize uh, calling the function uart5 peripheral uart5 here we call the function next is timer 0 a capture then gpio initialization is call next we use a while loop to continue uh, the capturing and receiving receiving and transmitting the wave of ultrasonic sensor even we not press any button on our android app
नेक्स्ट इज टाइमर टाइम इज माई माई मयर डिस्टेंस वी इनिशलाइज हेयर इट विल मयर द डिस्टेंस नेक्स्ट इज डिस्टेंस एट माइनस बिकॉज एट वी एक्चुअली यूज द एट माइनस हेयर बिकॉज डेट जो हम टैंक यूज कर रहे हैं उसकी जो टोटल लेंथ है वो हमारे पास एट सेंटीमीटर है तो अगर मैं एट यूज़ ना करता तो वो इतनी लेंथ ना देता कि वो टैंक कितना फिल हुआ है हाउ मच इट फिल एंड हाउ मच इट इन टी सो आई एट माइनस हेयर इट विल गेट द एकट वैल्यू नेक्स्ट इज एस्प्रिंट एफ टैंक इज हाउ मच फुल इट विल टेल द एस्प्रिंट एफ कमांड बिकॉज वी नाउ द ब्लू टूथ कैन नॉट रीड द इन टीजर वैल्यूज सो वी फर्स्टली कन्वर्ट इन टू स्ट्रिंग दैन वी प्रिंट ऑन आवर एंड्रॉयड एप्स If this distance is greater than eight, it will fill the tank is overflow, and uh, otherwise uh, it will, as usual, give the value how much tank is full and how much tank is empty. Next is if uh, c is equal to a, this uh, is uh, this is used to Bluetooth giving the command to Tiva to uh, if we press a button a. it will on the relay and if we press the button b it will close the relay mean uh, alternative we can say that it will open or close the close our valve using the relay and uh, one less than less than 2 we used here that is used to indicate the blue light on tiva when we pressing the button tiva relay light is also on and off by our command same as c is equal to b it will off the relay or we can say it will off our valve also our valve is connected with the relay and relay is connected to pa2 pin of the tiva c series next is joint measure distance it will use to measure the distance uh, of ultrasonic wave that passing in our tank <laughs> defining some parameter last at this edge gpio port a data trigger pin all uh, work with the three things first trigger pin low second the trigger pin high third the trigger pin low mean uh, first trigger it's high and friends uh, second trigger is uh, first trigger is low second is high and then is low so we are use it timer 0 icr r4 it means we capturing the waveform using the timer 0a and uh, ris is used uh, that uh, uh, even not capturing the uh, waveform it will not proceed further so next is we connect the our eco pin pv6 is uh, yeah, sorry eco pin eco pin it's not a trigger pin i right wrong we connect our uh, eco pin with the pv6 so i remove it uh, i connect the uh, eco pin with the pv6 uh, and trigger pin is is pf4 so i remove it and paste it here and right here eco pin is connected to pv6 not a ps6 and pf4 next is it will follow the last edge timer 0 at tar and uh, give the difference between the time next is gpio initialization i need to unlock the pins port a port b port uh, f a or b is for the triggering and eco pin and port f is used for the light blinking unlock the pins that we used unlock all pins of port f not all pins uh, i unlock uh, zero pin one pin two pin three pin and four pin not a five because i not choose it here and uh, next is port a initial same as initialization that we pins use so we come down timer 0 a capture we initialize here two timer 0 and timer 1 timer timer 
is for timer zero a capture and timer one is for the delay of microsecond because we use a different timer so it not be mixed up port b for the echo because echo work on the timer zero a capturing pin so we initialize here capture a port b initialize तो इसकी हम यूज़ कर रहे हैं पी सिक्स पिन तो मैंने पी सिक्स को नीचे इसकी मतलब के इनिशलाइज करा दिया मैंने इसको डिजिटल एनेबल पी सिक्स को बाकी नीचे वही है सारा डायरेक्शन डिजिटल एनेबल दे दी इसको टाइमर जीरो है सबसे पहले तो next we giving it the 16 bit so we initialize the configuration here for 16 bit configuration we do does here in the timer 0 a <coughs> then initialize the timer uh, enabling the count up rising time periodic mode and other so we plus it and get the value of 17 for the tamr then disabling the ctl control enable the control so we assign it to one and it assign it next is delay microsecond we used as i discussed before we use here the timer one 16 bit option here is a four for the cfg TMR periodic mood and down counter mood we use. Next is timer A interval load value register. Then timer A timeout flag it will be value one. Interval value you know periodic minus one. And uh, finally the enable the timer A. Next is the loop raw interrupt sense. Then ICR and UART five. We coming the UART5 initialization, we initialize the UART5. So we initialize it 0, 0 cross 1, 0. Lock it, unlock it. Then uh, enabling the control registers of clock of the port E. Port E ko clock thi amne. Then digital neighbor that we ports the use like a P4 and P5 we use here. So we disenable it. Alternative function use, port control use, and downward. UART 5 peripheral interface. UART 5 actually we use, so we declare his 0, 0 cross 2, 0. UART 5 initialize. Control. IBRD CTL disabling the control next is IBRD integer board rate so we now the formula of the 16 megahertz sorry it's uh, something wrong sorry 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 I read something wrong 16 megahertz divide by 9 uh, board rate multiply by 16 so it will give you the answer 11 point 104.16667 so we have now fraction part so we multiply by 0 1 0 0.1 multiply by 67 multiply by 64 plus 0 0.5 it's 0 0.5 is separate so it will be value give you value 11 and uh, 0 cross 68 is for the two stop it parity and 8 with data Calling the UART5 port initialize 
and uh, control register is control register is zero cross register enabling the enabling enable the rx and uh, enable the tx next is bluetooth read we use some here fr commands so how we get it uh, zero multiply zero cross one zero so we show you in our table as you can see here fr fr is for uh, rx fe enabling uh, we use the buffer and uh, rx is not full so not full we use here full en enable for uh, mean bit 4 is enabled so it will get 0 multiplied by 1 0 and uh, for the write command fr uh, tx buffer is not full so we use here tx ff downward fr tx ff tx ff that will give the bit 5 enable and uh, accept all as disabled so enabling txff its bit is 5 next is bluetooth write string it will use the writes of the string and delay this is our diva we connect it mm, using the model connect the wires with it this is small uh, breadboard wire so we connect uh, the common of uh, vcc and ground here this is uh, the small valve that uh, eject the water from this tank and uh, this is the switch that connect with the valve this is our valve that we connect here this is our small tank that flow the water from here to this this is our main tank this is the ultrasonic sensor that will tell how much tank is full and how much tank is empty this is our bluetooth and uh, this is our relay and this is the complete wiring of this project हमने अपना वाल्व इसका कनेक्ट कर लिया तो अब मैं डालता हूं इसमें पानी ठीक हो गया तो मैंने इस पानी डाल दिया तो अब ये यहां से यहां मूव करेगा जैसे मैं वाल्व ऑन करूंगा तो जैसा कि आप देख सकते हैं ये यहां से यहां मूव और जैसे ही मैंने वाल्व को ऑन किया तो पानी यहां से यहां मूव करना शुरू हो गया और जैसे ही मैं वाल्व को बंद करूंगा यह पानी दोबारा अपनी यहां से यहां फ्लो करना यह वाल्व कनेक्ट है हमारा वो डिस्कस आवर फोर टास्क इन प्रीवियस but so we discuss it firstly we initialize the header file otm4c then stadia.h then timer and uh, we use the timer to find the our elapsed time that how much time is required to pressing the button of switch 1 or switch 2 we know the 16 megahertz is the desired frequency of tiva so we required a 1 millisecond 
so it will give the 16,000 and 16,000 in hexadecimal will be equal to 0 cross 3e80 next we are calling the making the function of gpa initialization disable interrupts system initialize enable writing string to write in the string on juart using uart zero so defining some variables count lms pf0 elapsed timing elapsed timing Systric handler in system handler we increment in the timer that will give the elapsed time incrementation by one and uh, elapsed timing uh, it will giving the value of uh, elapsed uh, print the value of elapsed on uh, changing the integer from the string and print right on the string on the you are zero putty next incrementation of count in reaching that greater than equal to thousand then value of millisecond will will be equal to zero and digital enable on all pins we close it and blue blink the red led when data will read the value from you are zero sending the data of one Next is GPO initialization. Firstly, enable the port F, then unlock, then unlock all pins, then PF1 to PF0 as a output we use. So we declare it one, this enable on all pins, PF0, PF4. We use it as a pull up register because we used here the two switches, switch one and switch two. Switch two is attached to PF0, and switch one is attached to PF4. Next is GPIO interrupt initialization. Interrupt is very necessary to initialize the port of switches. Firstly, interrupt sensor and declaring the edge trigger. Edge trigger will be enabled. So we use here 0 cross 0 1. Next is both edges. Both edges is for the edge triggering and negative level of PF0. Sorry, both node of both edges is EV, IEV. So Next is the both edges. Both edges, uh, no both edges occur. So we declare, we have zero declare. Okay. Next is interrupt clear. Interrupt clear of both switches PF0 and PF4. Interrupt masking, masking use hota ye PF0, PF4. Ki. Next is NVIC. It's very important. We show it how we get value of NVIC. So we open our table. This is the GPIO port F handler, and as you can see, it will NVIC PRI 7R2321. 2223 to Jitrin Bhimarfa beats on this declare Kardena 1. So, yeah, and we I see him 5 layer and parity Kelly at all. I'm going to go 1010. Next is NVIC enable. So, as we can see, it is 30. Uh, so we to hum jo pit hamar 30 hai usko hum one declare kar denge aur ye one for value aa jayegi 0 cross 4 next is gpio f handler ye jo cheez hai ye handle karta hai hamare switches ko agar main pf uh, switch 1 dabaunga switch 2 ke liye pf 0 hai to agar main switch 2 dabaunga to uski value one ye kar dega aur isi tarah niche hai agar main uski value ko PF uh, PF switch one the bonga to PF four must value one card dega. Next is cystic initialization. It's very universal and we see cystic control starting value zero because it's disabling. Then is period minus one reload value and current value is almost zero because it will change with the time. Next is UR zero because we're using UR zero, so we declare the PS zero and PF one of port so we use here pa0 and pa1 next report a low car unlock the keys then control register 
clock this tradition enable alternative fans. you are zero peripherals you are zero and pa initialization it's controlling it i think it's a wrong writing so we declare right here 16 megahertz divide by 16 16 multiply by 2600 0 0.1667 multiply by 64 plus 0 0.5 So we declare it to stop it 8 bit data so it will get the lcrh next is ur0 send data txfe here we use the 7 bit number 7 so we declare here 0 multiply by 8 0 next is uh, fr for the ur0 get character we use here the receiving rx fe 4 bit so we will declare the 4 bit 1 next is the right string using the right of the string then is the main function that we calling our functions here declaring function cystic enabling uart <coughs> if we press pf0 press then it will write pf0 it's our working the task 4 and next is system handler it will calling the function of time elapsed here same as when pf0 is pressed switch 2 is pressed same as pf4 pressed it will writing it's working pf4 pressed and uh, calling the time elapsed function 